The ION Institute of Navigation and AFRL sponsored this competition so the students are encouraged to work on navigation problems. It's not necessarily the lawnmower that the Air Force and ION are concerned about, but it's working on systems in the future we want to have autonomous systems for various jobs. The key is we're trying to develop good systems engineers. This kind of competition exposes us to students in their universities that are in the STEM program disciplines. And so it's just a, a great opportunity for us to see the engineering talent. Learning to work as a team and trying to have everyone reach their potential is one of those things that the students learn and will serve them well as they continue on with the rest of their engineering career. Students will learn problem solving and how to attack real world problems. There are things such as slopes, uh, the type of grass, the thickness of the grass that they just can't anticipate back in the lab. One thing with the classroom is learn a bunch of theoretical. So you maybe program your robot theoretically and then you go outside, hills bumpy and stuff like that and then you have to really tune your constants and everything to the real world. The students really would learn that things don't go the way you, you plan for and you just have to overcome that and try to come up with different alternatives and different solutions. It kind of teaches us the unpredictability of engineering. So there's all kinds of different integration issues that these teams face that you can't get on a piece of paper, that you can't get in a classroom. And so that's the value to the students of this kind of effort. Every class is different and gives you specific knowledge about a specific subject, but this competition is it's great because get all the components together, get all the hardware, get all the software, get all the programming, and you start from scratch and you go all the way to designing a real cool project, a real cool device. Putting all the parts together is, gives you such a great experience and great practice on what, you, what you're going to do in, in your future. The, the most important thing for the students is that it gives them a chance to learn what it means to be on a team, to compete with a team, what it takes to integrate multiple technology areas into a single system. And this serves as a very good experience for everyone in the team to be able, be able to communicate. We have a mechanical, electrical, software, computer engineers. This is an opportunity to kind of explore and learn to respect other fields of engineering. You get to learn about all those different fields. Robotics kind of brings, brings it all together as far as engineering goes. And that's part of doing systems integration. You have to work with the electrical engineers, you have to work with the mechanical engineers, and that really is going to pay off in the long run when they go do a real job for a living. People should get involved in the lawnmower competition because it looks great on a resume. Employers love it. Professors love it. It gives you an opportunity to actually get your hands on research-oriented problems in the field. These are things that are still open problems that haven't been solved. We can't navigate as well as we'd like to, and I'm sure there's going to be a growing demand throughout the future for the types of skills that we can get doing this. As students, it's really your responsibility to go out of your way to find projects that you can put yourself into and, and learn things outside of the classroom and learn things that you're going to be able to apply later in life. And uh, you can do that with the lawnmower competition. We were able to combine a lot of disciplines together and multitask a lot in order to get this project to work. Now we get to compete for our university and represent the university as well as putting our knowledge to work. You don't really get to do that in the classroom and here you get the opportunity to test your abilities and test how well you mastered your knowledge. You can learn a lot not only from working on the project yourself but your teammates. It's been an ongoing project at the university so each year we get to build on what the previous teams have done and we just keep improving and it's just been really good to have the building block of the previous teams. It's a great learning experience and it's a lot of fun. Not only is the participation of the sponsors important, but also the role of the volunteers. We have over 30 volunteers from across AFRL, not just the sensors director, 
who have volunteered their time and efforts to make this event such a success. And I just want to personally say thank you to all of them for the efforts they put into making this our most successful event yet.